finishing up the program in 2020. So that was we, as far as increasing rates and things, if we're going to if we're going to introduce metering and we've got a big increase with that, then we wait a little bit for other increases because we don't want to hit people with too many increases too fast, generally speaking, unless we go through a very uh, thorough, you know consultation program. So for example, for the asset management, we intend to do that. We intend to meet with our people, go through their problems, their liabilities, their issues, and then give them the very serious news about what those costs are going to be. But we're kind of uh, anticipating the program to get to the board to give us the marching orders, actually, to go ahead you know, and implement the asset management plan. So that's still coming. So anyway, there's, there was some, to answer the question directly, so there was some fitting to try and make that work. With Shawnigan Lake North, we have other resources we can bring into it to, to pay that difference. We may have to temporary borrow. Might be one possibility. We're not sure exactly. We've got some, uh, we've got some surplus in the, in the budget. Uh, we don't know that super well until the end of the year, uh, but we hope for, the, for 2020 to be able to make that work for that, for that project. Thank you. I have um, Director Wilson and then Director Smith. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I, I agree with what uh, Director Hayne and Director Morrison have said. Uh, that I have no problem with uh, uh, the, the projects that the staff, in, in their opinion, have, um, have identified. There's no problem there at all. My problem is with the way it's being funded, as uh, Director Smith has been brought up. And OK, we're now in a situation where we have the uh, projects. They've been identified as essential. Let's get on and do it. But in the future, perhaps not now, but let's have a look at the way this is funded because it's just not right. Director Smith. Thank you. Uh, the 60% uh, area B will receive 1.5 million in the 60% area and area G will receive 420,000 approximately. We won't get very far in our uh, water distribution system in <coughs> regards to that. And that's based on our population and we have to share with Cetus Island, which uh, is a portion of Area G. I uh, would like to make an amendment to this uh, recommendation that the Shawnigan Lake North Water uh, Community Works Fund grant request be uh, lowered to approximately 300,000 at to 300,000 and that uh, the additional 400,000 be placed in the salt air water system uh, for uh, the distribution system. That's, I just want to clear that 600,000 for the salt air water system distribution on number 12. On number 12, yes. That's 600,000 as opposed to their 200. So there is an amendment. Is there a seconder for that amendment? It's been moved and seconded. The discussion on the amendment. Director Acton. Well, I would just like, to, it seems like now we're getting into like who pays more taxes. And I'd just like to remind you that Area B pays a third of all the taxes in the electoral areas and funds many, many functions from that are not equitable. So going down this route and trying to not serve the people that we do serve is an interesting uh, way of serving our community. Director Nicholson and back to Director Smith on the amendment. I can't support that amendment. It's completely, it's, an, it's just an arbitrary allocation which I mean really we need to have some principles around how we do this and it doesn't address the issue that's been raised about uh, trying to move to more equitable or uh, um, user fee amounts or more appropriate user fees fee amounts for the systems to maintain them in the long run uh, I'm wondering if it would be possible to get up-to-date information about what people are paying in these different systems currently um, as opposed to what is the recommended state. We have the recommended state in the ANOVA report, but I don't have up-to-date um, existing fee structures. I'm wondering if that information would be more helpful um, to coming up with a, uh, a different way of allocating. Ms. Saldera? 
That information is published on our website and so is available. Thank you. And I'm turning now to Director Smith and alternate Director Haim. Director Smith. So back to the ANOVA report, it indicates that the user pay, uh, so your parcel tax should increase. Uh, if you take and you consider the parcel tax for um, Shawnigan Lake North, it's 317 per parcel. And if you take the Saltaire water system, it's 567 per parcel. If you want any of the other ones, I've got them all listed here. But I think that you can see that there's definitely, um, if we're going to be paying a, a higher amount, then uh, we should receive, uh, to make it equal, um, we should look at how we can address this. If someone in uh, the finance department can come up with a system of making uh, it equitable, equal or fairly funded, then that would be appreciated. But I support, uh, re uh, you know, the, the amendment because it means that Shawnigan Lake North that did not increase their um, parcel tax after the 2017 ANOVA report. It was very clear in the report that their system was having issues with their pipes and other areas at that time. That's two and a half years of an increased taxation that could have addressed the seven. Point of order, Madam right Chair. Yes, so to, to the resolution okay. or to the amendment yeah. on the well, floor. I support the amendment. Okay, thank you. We're moving on to alternate director Haim. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, I can't support the amendment. If it was uh, some sort of a strategy to allocate the funding amongst all the electoral areas on some sort of, uh, say, per capita or something like that, that's something I would consider. But uh, to me, it just feels too arbitrary to grab money out of one and to another to the exclusion of others. Um, I think it's got to be something that's supportable as a, as a broad-based strategy as opposed to a uh, us-against-them type of an approach. Thank you. So on the amendment, do we need to read it or is everyone clear? Clear on the amendment. I'm going to call the question. All in favor? Opposed, if any? Motion is defeated. Moving on now to the original recommendation. Motion? It's on the floor. It's on the floor. Well, it hasn't been moved and seconded. It has. Oh, it has. Oh, it did at the beginning. Right. Yeah. There's, sorry. Of course it has. I'm going to call the question. All in favor? Any opposed? Motion is carried. Is there any unfinished business? Thank you, Madam Chair. There is none. New business. There isn't any. Question period. Is anyone in the gallery that wish to ask the chair a question? Seeing none, we'll move on to uh, adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Moved. Is there a seconder? All in favor? Any opposed? Motion's carried. It was so long I didn't know who moved and seconded. Uh. Okay, sorry. Good thing you're here. Keep me up. <laughs>